Einstein said that time called it is a river. Really? That no, time's not a river. Let's just correct Michu Kaku. We're off to a bad start, ladies and gentlemen. Time is not a river. Freedom is not a water slide. These are concepts. Now, I can say freedom is like a big swamp, but it's meaningless bollocks. Let's have a listen. Measure this, and it has practical importance as well. All swept up in the river of time, and it can speed up and it slows down. For example, on the moon. You know that time beats faster on the moon than it does on the Earth, and we can measure this? No, you can't. On Jupiter, time beats slow. On Jupiter, not expanding into a sky vacuum, like a whole load of storms just whipping around in a sky vacuum. So you're going to be on Jupiter. No, you're not. You can't go to Jupiter. You can't travel to a light in the sky. That would involve a second law of thermodynamics violation journey. So time beats at different rates. No, it doesn't. Time's a concept. The way you track it might move at different rates. You might have watches that run so at different speeds. Not... It gets you to nod along by making those statements. First thing, if we go to the moon, you know, it, there's, it's a statement of fact as, as the way he's presenting it, as if that statement that you're going to, time's going to travel differently on the moon. That's a statement of fact. He's not questioning it. It's not a supposition. It's a statement of fact that's supporting what he's telling you. But we can't, you can't step on the moon. It's like Neil deGrasse Tyson's equivalent was to say, if you're a cloud whipping along at a thousand miles an hour in line with the rate of the rim velocity of the equator, then if you travel north as a cloud, you're like, what the hell are you babbling? I called him a hippie when he did this. Well, with Michio Kaku, it's no different. If you imagine you're on a light in the sky. So just to bring you back down to reality, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. If I wonder I'm stood on you, then time travel's different. That snap you out of the nonsense he's just spun to you because he can't give you an example of time travel or time dilation or time traveling at different rates, the things he's describing. So where does he put you? He puts you on the moon. You, you, you ladies and gentlemen of the audience, you, you on the moon often? No? Of course, my bad. It's Jupiter that you frequent. No, no, not often frequenting Jupiter. You, you just prefer to whip around as a cloud. This is the bullshit you have to swallow as a heliocentrist. You're either a cloud or you're on a light in the sky. Like, yeah, might just accept it because of the rhetoric being bullshitted into you to the point of acceptance without you realising it. But once we start pointing out that, no, no, twinkle, twinkle, little star, now I'm standing on you with time moving at a different rate. Please share the show, by the way, if you're watching live.